I added hardener to it, in fact, and then I just poured it over into the same mold, and then it, join, it, it joins automatically, hmm. and this bait will not come off. I mean, it stays for like 10 fish well, versus only five. So what kind of fish are here in this lake? Sunfish, uh, perch, white perch, I mean yellow and whites, pumpkin seed, bluegill, uh, sunnies, uh, pickerel, largemouth. I love fishing for crappie. Are there crappie here? There are a lot of crappie here. You can get into a school out here and you can catch 75 to 100 just by anchoring in one spot. And you can use multiple lures and they're, they're very aggressive because they're a dominant species, but it's at the cost of the bass, I think because we're not finding uh, the quality of bass we, we once did, uh, or, the, or the numbers of, of two, and, two and three pounders. So Frank, I brought two bait casters and a spinning setup. I brought no tackle. I want to fish with your stuff, so can you set me up? Sure can. And what we have here is a box of hybrid lures. Hybrid, what does that mean? Hybrid lures means that you're taking one type of a lure, whether it be plastic or a hard bait, and you're modifying it. And in this case, I'm taking uh, a grub and a different type of tail uh, and then I'm fusing together with a, a candle flame. This is actually uh, a razor worm attached to a, a, a grub tail, which is the Triple Ripple by Bass Pro. And that's a totally different design than you'll ever see because of the way it goes through the water and the way it looks to a fish. My laboratory is Orange Lake and some of the smaller uh, streams and, and ponds around here. The laboratory. Ooh. This is on a flash jig. Nice bass. The flash jig is, is uh, actually, they sell it at Gander Mountain. It's mylar, but it's twisted, and it has iridescence. You hold it up to the light, it's purple. You look at it at the uh, eye level. It's chartreuse and multicolored. This is what would be probably the most finesse type bait you'll ever find, because the, the, the skirt flares and it flutters, and you can give it any action you want. You can slide it, you can flutter it, you can twitch it, and it just drives all species crazy. They love it. Lunkerville will be right back after these short commercial messages. The guy who makes his own lures, though, he's had an advantage in the sense that he has tested his lures out and he knows what works and what doesn't work. And he's disproven different things about color and about uh, design. There's a lot of fish towards the pads. One. That's what Frank says. And that's a panfish. And that's a crappie. And that's an orange lake crappie. On a flash jig. Flash so jig. So we have, we have two species on this jig right now. Here's one. You catch them any smaller than that? What is that? Pickerel. That's, a, that's the tiniest pickerel I've ever seen. <laughs> Which means the pickerel population is doing pretty good in here. Can you keep it on the hook and then catch a bass with it or something? <laughs> Third species on that. So Frank, what do you do for a living? I started out as an x-ray technician uh, years ago. Uh, I was in the Air Force and I got my trade there. And then in uh, late 70s, I started going, taking interest in medical sonography. And it's the things that you look at gallbladders and babies with. I've been fishing since my mother took me when I was seven years old or six years old to a small little pond and she bought me one of those uh, South Bend rods. A little dauber and some worms. And from that point I was hooked because I saw that dauber I go under and I, and I felt the... Uh... Bass. Yeah. Is it a, no, it's a pick. Pick, a nice pick. A nice pick. You want the net? I think I got it. I also got grabbers, too. <laughs> hybrid strikes again. The hybrid. The hybrid. Multi-species. Ooh. Can you jump off yourself? What's your wife's name? Uh, I'm married to Trish. She comes from a long line of, of sportsmen, fishermen and hunters. And it's just accepted that uh, guys will be gone when the season's right. Here's Perch. another species. Aha! Uh -huh. Species Yellow number perch. four, <laughs> a yellow perch. Not very big, but definitely a fish. And you can see the fluorescent orange. 
and the fluorescent chartreuse that this fish has as far as its coloration goes. That's what I like to put in the lures. So he thinks that's a little little perch there, is he? He's eating his own, own little guy? No, I think he thinks that it's just something that's living that he just wants to take a bite out of and see if he can master it. That's it. There he goes. Okay. Species number, what is that, number five? What is that? That's sunny. It's a, it's oh, a pumpkin, sunny, pumpkin yeah. seed. I'm seeing lots of beds in here. Yes. They're, they're, they're probably all finished now as far as that goes. Well, Frank takes me to school <laughs> <laughs> with the pan fishing. Let's see what Mike Elvisco has to say in this week's Bass Bites. Whoa! Ooh. We got a nice one. Ooh, take the end of reverse off. Dude, do you need the net? Whoa, not bad. No, I can look him. Is that a bass? That's a bass. Ooh, nice one. That's on about that a one. Little, about a one and three quarter. On that little thing. Flash jig. After this fish, I'm gonna take the flash jig off, and we're gonna, I'm gonna, I gotta show you that the other stuff does work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a good one. Let's measure this, the length of it just to show us what this fish actually is in lengthwise. Fish is 15, 15 and a half inches long. Probably weighs about a pound and a half. It's a little thin, mm -hmm. but it's extremely active. It hits hard. Oh, I don't know. Frank's changing baits. What does that mean? It's got the configuration. Uh, somebody has called it the fat tiki. I don't know. All I know is that it's produced better than the, the, the tiki design, which I also pour. And uh, the tail is very thin and it whips with the slightest uh, action. On the flash jig, so what, what's the proper uh, way to engage the hook? I, I feel them nipping. Re reel them a little bit faster. Sometimes they, they see that speed change and then they jump after it. Okay, he's, he's, he's right there. Man, they're or, having or, fun or with flutter, it. Or flutter the, uh, the bait in place with your rod tip. Just kind of hops in one spot and then start to retrieve a little bit. They're taunting me. They figured it out. Stupid perch. <laughs> These finesse presentations, I guess it really, it's all about the action. It's all about how you how you swim that through the water. I mean, this is just testament to the fact that a guy like me, who hasn't really fished these two baits, I'm doing what, what I think Frank has told me. I've only hooked up with one. There's Frank, you know, catching crappy right at the boat. Hmm. I'm just going to have to copy him. We'll go to the Senko. It's the old reliable. No, I'm only fishing with Frank's baits. What was that Senko knockoff that you had? <laughs> <laughs> nice bass. Hand pour, fat tiki. Oh yeah, in the pads. In the pads. Hit it hard. Frank, stop hogging all the fat tiki's. Slap me <laughs> one of those bad boys. Sure thing. <laughs> I just don't have the touch for that flash jig. Here you go. I believe it. I believe it works. I just don't have the talent. Thanks. If, if we got into a school, I guarantee you would, you would get the talent very fast. Okay, well, when, if we do that, I'm going to keep it rigged up. And then with that, you'll get the confidence and then you'll, you'll start to vary your retrieve and won't be mechanical because I think once you get a confidence in the bait, you become more versatile at, at its uses. In fact, I think I'm going to make a, uh, a C clamp for this right now. Another MacGyver ism. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's simple. Just one of these. One of these. Here to see. Almost like a paper clip. I, uh, I'm going to call it the staple. And then you take this. Feel around for the eye of the hook. 
And you know it's there because you can't raise it up. Push the whole C into it. And you take your little pliers and you make a direct bend at a right angle. And there you have your C clamp. Now it's now it's hooked like a peg, but it does, does much less damage than a, 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 a toothpick. I guarantee that's not gonna come off unless the fish bites it off. That'll stay up there now. Got one? Yeah. Yank him out here.